Hello, this is Kerbin with Otoy, and in this video I'd like to discuss basic material design. I have a default Unreal Engine scene open with the starter content. I have the Octane plugin installed, and I'm going to click on the Octane button up here in the tool shelf to activate the Octane render engine. And it will take a second here to load in the materials. And it automatically opens up the Octane viewport which I'm gonna put aside for right now. And it also creates the Octane Render Target Actor here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create an Octane Material. So I can do that by just right-clicking in the Content Browser, and that's being cut off in my video. So a little farther down off screen here <laughs> will be a, an Octane menu option and there'll be just one option in there called the octane material so i'm going to click on that again that's cut off on the screen and there's my octane material and i'll just give it a, a name here i'll just call it the octane oops let me spell it right octane mat m-a-t for mat and then i'm going to double click on it and it opens up the editor window the material editor window which since this is an octane material this is specific to octane and we'll have two icons in here by default we'll have a parent material I should say icon um, node a parent material node and a material out node so let's talk about the parent material node first so the parent material node is a way to bridge a gap between unreal engine materials and the octane render engine so for instance, the Unreal Engine viewports cannot render an octane material. So what the parent material allows me to do is assign an Unreal Engine material for rendering directly in the viewports, the Unreal Engine viewport, but when I render with the octane viewport, it will utilize the octane material instead. So to give you an example of that, um, what I'm going to do is add a parent material to this octane material. So the way we do that is a little bit kind of unintuitive here. We don't select the material, the parent material node. I have to actually click away from it. When I click away from it, I then have the parent material slot available over here in the details panel. So what I'm going to do is, let me move this out of the way again for a second. I'm going to work on this little statues material here. So right now this is an octane material, or I'm sorry, an, an Unreal Engine material. I think I said octane. This is an Unreal Engine material, which will render properly in the octane viewport. And just as a side note, we can test that by clicking on the render button here in the render target. This is only available if I have the octane render target actor selected that's the details for this particular actor so if I hit the render button we will see it is rendering all of these native Unreal Engine materials so I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside for a, a second here so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna select the statue and if I scroll down over here in the details panel, we'll see here's the two materials assigned to it. There's the base material, it says brushed or burn, burnished steel, and then it has the statue glass. So what I'm going to do is use, I, I want to replace the statue glass with an octane material for rendering in the octane viewport. But in the Unreal Engine viewport, I would like to still see this material. So that's what the parent material is for. So over here where I have, the, it's called the M statue glass material. I'm going to select that as my parent material for my new octane material. So I can hit the drop box here and I'll type in M, I'm doing a browse here, M underscore statue. And there it is right there, M statue glass. So that now becomes my parent material. Now, if I save this and I close out of the material editor window, we'll see that my Octane Materials thumbnail has now updated. So the parent material also functions as the thumbnail that you'll see in the content browser. You won't actually see the thumbnail of the Octane material, you'll see the parent material here. 
So basically that hasn't really changed anything yet. If I open up my Octane viewport as I had closed it, so I'm gonna open it from the drop menu here. If I open up the viewport again, we can see that the material still is showing me the Unreal Engine material because that is the parent material. But now I'm going to actually develop an Octane material in conjunction with that parent material. So actually, instead of closing this, I'm just gonna move it off screen. So I'm gonna come back to my Octane material. I'll double click on it. And in here I have, uh, there's my, my parent material here. Again, I, ha I activate that by clicking in an empty area. And then I can start building my Octane material. Now, the question comes up, what is this parent material node? Well, this is sort of a, I guess we could call it a pass-through node. So what this would allow me to do is when I design an Octane material, if I want to pull the opacity, the base color, the metallic, the specular, any of these parameters from the parent material, I could do that here and then wire it into my Octane material. So it's a way to, to sort of blend the two materials together if we wanted to. Now I'm not gonna do that, so I'm going to just push the parent material out of the workspace so I have a little more room here, and I'm gonna create my first Octane material. So we can do this a number of ways. We can right click here in the work area, and under materials, I can choose from the different material types here, or I can grab them from the palette here on the right. So if I go to materials, these are my available materials. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use a diffuse material. This is one of our basic materials in Octane. So I'll drag that into the work area. And we see I have all of my attributes. If I select this node, I can then see all of its parameters over here in the details panel. And in order to make this material work, I have to connect it to the material out node that was generated by default when we made this Octane material. So I'm gonna wire that in right there. And I'm also gonna just change the, def uh, the diffuse color here so that we can see how it will change out in the Octane viewport. So under diffuse, I will change it to, from my color picker, I'll choose maybe an, an orange to match the orange scene that we have out there. So I'll say okay, and now that's orange, and I can hit save. So just to review what we have in here, we have a default, I shouldn't say default, but a basic octane diffuse material wired into our material out. I've changed the diffuse color, and I still also have a parent material here, which is the M statue glass. So again, if I wanted to use this parent material node and I wanted to grab whatever color we might have in this M statue glass, which there really isn't any because it's semi-transparent, uh, I could use the base color. Or if I wanted to pick up the transparency from this, I could use opacity or specular, or some of these other attributes. So that's what this parent material node is for. Once a parent material has been added, which is a, an Unreal Engine material, we can then pass through its parameters to whatever Octane material we might be using. So again, I think I hit save, but I'll do that again just to be sure. And then I will uh, close out of the material editor for now. Notice my Octane materials thumbnail has not changed, but what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to replace my statues element zero, which is the glass material with the octane material. So I'm gonna drag it and drop it over here. So now it says octane mat. Now notice nothing has changed in the Unreal Engine viewport because I added that parent material. So it's seeing the parent material and nothing changes in there. However, in my octane viewport, we now see that that top part of that statue is taking on my diffuse octane material, which was sort of an orangey color. And if I open up my material editor again, and just give myself some room here, I come back to my diffuse material. There's the color, so if I change that again, maybe I want it to be green. So I'll choose green and say okay. And now we see that updates over here in the viewport. So that's the way we design basic materials or handle basic materials using Octane Render Engine. Again, just to review, what I did here was I added or created an Octane material, which
which I did by right clicking. And again, it's cut off, but it, there's an, an octane menu option down here with an octane material. So I added the octane material. And then inside the octane material, I added my parent material, which is an Unreal Engine material that is used in the Unreal Engine viewport. And I can use parameters from that parent material and pass those into an octane material. And then I can save this and apply my octane material to an object in the scene. And with that parent material connected, it means that I will see the original Unreal Engine material in the Unreal Engine viewport, but I will see my Octane material in the Octane viewport. So that's the basics of material design.